G'day beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. Okay, well, we've been down double jump, relieving nukes and taking off honey off the hives. And to show you the strength of all these nukes at the moment, uh, you can see the number of them hanging out the front after we've worked them. At the best of queens, when rearing your own, you must have a humongous amount of nurse bees. And the host hive must be just at a stage just before swarming. Um, we've under supered and gone into the uh, brood chamber to check for rogue queen cells. And you can see that once it's all back together, how strong this hive is in terms of how thick these bees are right here, um, which is just impressive. Alan was saying that the, you know, the big reason is, is that long-lived bees feed on the blue gum with up to 37% protein compared to wattle, which is down near the 15 to 17% mark. So a long-lived bee is, lives twice as long, so for that middle period, you've got double the bees. So th th this is a five-frame double nuke, which is going to be a unit that we're going to graft into. We're now going to make the bottom section B1 queenless and there must be a frame of eggs, frame of honey. Remainder empty frames. And that will get changed around the top super on top of the yellow divider so that the bottom will become queenless. Right, okay, all yours. Lionel is now going to look for the queen in the brood super and cage her. So what we've done is made sure we've got a frame of honey downstairs, sticky, and of course we've got to make sure that there's a frame of eggs in there so that the nurse bees um, are down there working on those larvae when they hatch. And then tomorrow, when we place our cell bar in, we remove this frame of eggs. So basically you're swapping over the eggs that they're working on with the larvae that we've grafted into a cell bar, into here. So this bottom part will now be queenless, and the queen we moved up top by use of a lid come base divider. Which is the yellow painted unit you see below. All right, okay. Yep, I'll just get that up in a second. Yep, all right. We've already caged the queen, and the, the queen is in the queen cage there, ready to be put in the top super. The original entrance stays in the same position so that all the field bees will come back to the original entrance. Now the top becomes the queen right colony, the bottom is queenless, which is like a version of a starter colony. So what we'll be able to do is create, use the one hive as a host hive, as a starter, and then when it's queen right again, a finisher without having to move the cell bar into different hives. Now, frame of honey out and two brood in. Yep, so what we're gonna do is check check this uh, top uh, super to see what we've got here. So we've got uh, room for the queen to lay. Yep, by the looks of it, I think we're gonna have a bit of honey. Oh. Yeah, that's honey. Yep, so one big frame of honey there. Yep. I'll get some of those bees off. This brood's got to go home somewhere. Yeah, they can go to the outside. And see what other honey we've got there. That's honey brood, it's brood. okay. Yep. I'd say that one's probably have some brood on it also. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Yep. Right, okay. And maybe if we... So you can take that other one out. Yep. Oh, this outside one here. I think it might be all honey. Yep, totally. Yep, right. So I'm going to replace that other brood. And put a sticky in its spot so that queen has something to do. Yep. That's the other brood frame. And I'll grab a sticky. Just got the uh, small high beetle trapped again. 
Yeah, I'll just slide him over here for convenience. So once the bottom part of this colony has started on the queen cells, we will then put this top super down the bottom as a brew box, an excluder, and put the bottom super as the top. So in place of this yellow piece will simply be an excluder, so that way they're finishing off our grafted cells up top and the queen just keeps ticking over. The queen is now being released from the cage into the top super, which is the queen right hive. The top is queen right and the bottom is queen less.